Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are nine people. They travelled to Mumbai using three different types of vehicles, and each person paid a different amount for their travel. It is given that at least two, but not more than four people used each type of vehicle. So minimum two, maximum four. So one very likely possibility is two, three, four. It is also possible that we may have three, three, three people. Traveling in a vehicle. Okay, now we need to find the vehicles that is cab, train, and bus, and we need to find the amount that they paid, the so fare and the mode of transport. So we will make A B C D E F G H I the initial letters of their names, and we will write the fare and the mode of transport. So we will first start with uh, like fare because it's a number based uh, uh, like uh, puzzle. Okay, so uh, let's start with the fare first, and we will concentrate on the statements that talk about fare. Later on, we will fill in the mode of transport. Okay, so it says that uh, Harini traveled in the same vehicle as the person who paid three fifty. Now we do not know who paid three fifty. Okay, so. Uh, Now next is Harini and Arav who paid two fifty. So Arav paid two fifty rupees. So we will fill this information. Then the next statement does not talk about fare. Chandan paid two fifty more than Arav. So Chandan paid five hundred rupees. Ignore the second part. Okay. So next we have is Bhavna uh, uh, paid hundred more than Chandan. Right. So hundred more than Chandan, that means six hundred, and Deepak paid hundred less than Chandan. So Deepak is paying four hundred. Ishan paid fifty more than Deepak. So we know Deepak four hundred. So Ishan is four hundred and fifty. Then person who paid six hundred, we already know. Gopal paid the average amount paid by Bhavna and Chandan. So Bhavna is six hundred, five hundred. That means Gopal would have paid five hundred and fifty rupees. The total amount paid by those who travelled by train was sixteen hundred. Okay, so we do not know how many people travelled by train, right? So uh, and uh, like there could be different combinations of sixteen uh, hundred, right? So we will ignore it as of for now. Isha paid three fifty more than Gopal. So Gopal is paying five fifty. So Isha paid nine hundred rupees. Okay, now we have filled these amounts. We are left with two amounts, right? Now, how to figure out the amounts? Let's now log, talk about the means of transport also. If something is directly given to us, so let's uh, now see this. Hari Hari traveled in the same vehicle as the person who paid three fifty. So we know there is a person who paid three fifty rupees. None of these persons has paid three fifty. Okay, so we are left with two people, Hari Hari and F. So we Hari Hari. Is not paying three fifty rupees. That means the other person, that is Farah, paid three fifty rupees. For Harini, we do not know the amount yet. We will fill it later. Okay. Now we will figure out the mode of transport as well. So it says they travelled in the same vehicle. So let us put some symbol. So uh, let's put, uh, let's say a star. We will denote it by the actual mode of transport later. So they are travelling in the same vehicle. Okay. Harini and Arav traveled in different vehicles. So Arav is not in the star vehicle; it is different. Only one other person traveled in the same vehicle as Arav, who did not travel by bus. So Arav is traveling by cab or by train. He did not travel by bus. And there are only two people. Only one other person traveled in the same vehicle as Arav. That means we will have this combination: Arav traveling with one other person. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, now we will have next thing is saying that Bhavna and Deepak. Now next is Chandan. Chandan did not travel by bus or in the same vehicle as Arav. So Chandan did not travel by bus. So Chandan will travel by cab or train and did not travel by the same uh, vehicle as Arav. So if Arav is traveling by cab, Chandan will travel by train, or vice versa. So we have these two cases. So 
if we know one of the vehicles we will know the other one as well okay so that is sorted as of now then we are given bhavna and deepak traveled in the same vehicle but not in the same vehicle as chandan so bhavna and deepak in the same vehicle right now bhavna and deepak in the same vehicle now understand this that they cannot travel in the same vehicle as chandan so suppose chandan is traveling by train okay so bhavna and deepak will not travel by train now if they travel by cab and arav has only one more person traveling by cab so there will be three people traveling by cab okay that is not possible similarly suppose uh, chandan is uh, traveling by uh, cab so they both will travel by train so you will have three people traveling by train that is also not possible so that means they traveled in the same vehicle and we have figured out which vehicle is this that is bus so these two travel by bus okay now there can be more persons also traveling by bus now fara and ishan traveled in the same vehicle right fara and ishan in the same vehicle now fara and harini are also already in the same vehicle so ishan is also in the same vehicle now let us understand that fara and ishan if they are in bus if let us consider that they are in bus so that will make a combination of how many five people because already two people are in bus so they are not in bus so they are in cab or train okay now cab or train means if we put them with arav okay so that will make four people right so we cannot have them in uh, the same vehicle as arav so that means they are in the same vehicle as chandan so these are these four are in the same vehicle as uh, these four are in the same vehicle so chandan is in this vehicle and bus will have three travelers right so chandan has four travelers and this is uh, like chandan whatever vehicle chandan is traveling in and uh, bus will have three uh, there are three people who travel by bus okay now what we will do is uh, let's fill further we will figure out more modes of transport ishan and bhavna did not travel in the same vehicle now this is redundant because we have already figured out that information so now this is this becomes redundant the person who paid 600 and gopal traveled in the same vehicle okay 600 is bhavna and gopal traveled in the same vehicle so gopal is also traveling in bus okay so these three are traveling by bus we have to determine about the remaining four people okay gopal paid the average amount paid by that is amount is done the total amount paid by those who traveled by train is was 1600 so train travelers paid a total of 1600 now we know arav is traveling by one of the vehicles cab or train so if arav is traveling by train he has paid 250 rupees so other person has to pay 1350 which is not possible none of the values looks like this and h is not traveling by train so that means that arav is traveling by cab and chandan is also traveling by uh, sorry chandan is traveling by train hence these four people are traveling by train and the remaining person isha will travel by cab okay so this completes the mode of transport and we are given the total by train is 1600 so 500 plus 350 plus 450 350 plus 450 is 800 right plus 500 is 1300 so harini paid 300 as the pair right so total is 1600 for the people who traveled by train okay so uh, we are done with the amounts how many people traveled by bus so we have three people traveling by bus total amount paid by the people who traveled by cab so we have one person arav and another person uh isha traveling by cab and the total amount paid by them is 1150 rupees total amount paid by faraha is 350 rupees and 600 was paid by bhavna for the travel so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions